Hello and welcome again. My name is Joel Elliott and I'm the Senior Property Manager here at EW Capital Management. In today's blog series, we want to talk to you a little bit about best practices when changing your property management company in Atlanta. Um, as always, all relationships are not necessarily a good fit. So from time to time, you may decide that you want to make a change in terms of your management services. So here's some key things you want to make sure that you do when you actually have a changeover. Number one, you want to make sure that you gather a copy of all pertinent information. Uh, the most important being a copy of the lease agreement to make sure it has all of the information and the terms in which this tenant is currently living in the unit. Uh, you want that information to go to your new manager to make sure that they're successful in managing the unit as that's the most important thing. Our job is to enforce the lease agreement. Uh, number two, you want to make sure you collect all of the tenant information. Uh, most importantly, all of the contact information, any pertinent things inside of the file that can be shared uh, based on what your privacy laws are in your state. Um, and then number three, you want to make sure that you keep the lines of communication open uh, with you and your current manager or yourself if you're currently managing. Because remember, the tenant is still in this transaction and they were used to the person who they were dealing with throughout. So we want to make sure that all the channels are open for everyone to be on one page, to be talking about what will occur. And then lastly, you want to make sure you allow at least for 30 days for a good transition. This way we make sure that there are no breakdowns in terms of where the rent is supposed to be paid, who is supposed to be paid, and how it's supposed to be paid. All that information, if over that 30 day period is transferred, the new manager has the opportunity to speak with the tenant prior to collecting rent, everything kind of goes smoothly and your relationship ends smoothly with your old property manager and starts smoothly with your new property manager or if you're transitioning to yourself. Uh, everyone can be comfortable in the transaction. So, as always, we want to kind of go through recap. Well, number one, make sure that you gather all of the important information, the most important being the lease agreement. Number two, make sure that you gather, of course, uh, all of the pertinent tenant information so that you can make a really good tenant file. Number three, you want to make sure that you allow at least for 30 days for the transition to be able to happen successfully. And then number four, keep the lines of communications open. Uh, even though the relationship may not necessarily be ending well, you want to make sure communication is happening on all channels so everyone involved can make sure this is a good transition. So as always, if you have any questions or you're looking for a new manager, feel free to give us a call. We'll be happy to guide you through the process. Thanks for watching.